Let's talk about objects. What are objects? Well, think of them as building blocks, just like when you are building with Lego. You use different pieces to create something awesome. In Figma, you use objects to create your designs. So, when we say object editing, we are talking about making changes to these building blocks to make your design look exactly how you want it to. It's like being a digital artist, but without needing to know how to paint. Now, let's get practical. Imagine you have a square in Figma and you want to make it a rectangle. Easy peasy. You just grab one of the corners and stretch it out. Your square is now a rectangle. But what if you want to change the color of your rectangle? No problem. Just click on it. Find the color option and pick the color you like. It is like choosing the color for your favorite toy. And that's just the beginning. With object editing in Figma, you can move things around, resize them, change the color and even add color effects. It's like having a superpower to transform your ideas into reality. So buckle up and get ready to unleash your creativity as we explore the amazing world of object editing in Figma. Trust me, by the end of this, you will be a design superstar. Let's dive in it. So guys, this is going to be a quick video where I'll be explaining you about object editing, right? So as you can see, right now I have selected an object, right? So this is a rectangle, right? and I have selected this and once I select this uh, shape or the object you'll be able to see multiple options so these are the customization options or you can say editing options right so basically you can do different types of uh, customizations here with layers with, with color fillings or strokes effects so multiple options are there but with these options you can mostly do cosmetic changes like you can increase or decrease the thickness of this stroke or you can say the border line you can change the color you can change the transparency strength so basically you can do all the cosmetic changes but for example if i want to change the design of this rectangle so you can't do with these settings right so for that you need to go with object editing option and how we can access that object editing option so basically you just need to double click on any shape and when you double click on that particular shape which you want to edit you will see some extra options over there right so if i click on done button the options change changes to the back menu where you'll be able to see all the earlier options but when you double click on this object the options will automatically get changed so there is one manual button as well this is the manual button and if you hover your cursor over here it says ob edit object Right, so in the same way I can select this rectangle as well and I can go to edit object and I'll be able to edit this object. So what kind of editing I can done here? So basically I can change the shape or I can change the design for example. I want to make it something look like this. Right. I don't know I'm just doing some random things. I'm just showing you the feature which is object editing. Right. Even you can delete the color which is there which is basically inside the shape so what you can do is you can just double click and delete and the color is gone so this is how you can edit an object and it is compatible or basically it is allowed with any object you have created from these options like rectangle line arrow eclipse polygon star whatever you have chosen you can do some editing with those objects and these kind of editing is not possible with these options right so i would ask you to go on your figma tool and try this object editing feature where you'll be able to change the design change the basic property of this shape right so for example i want to make something look like this and from here i want to do like this so i couldn't drawn if I haven't have this uh, feature this edit object editing feature right so due to this object editing feature I am now able to edit this object now I would insist you to go on your Figma tool and try this